Daddy always liked that stuff. Just. is Tammy. In our first volume cookbook we have a tomato sauce meatloaf. It's a lot like what Chris ate growing up but my mother made more of a beefy meatloaf with a tomato topping so we're gonna make that tonight. So these will not be in one of my cookbooks until I come out with my third one. Just giving you a heads up but let's get started. We're gonna start out with one and a half pounds of ground beef. And this is not ground chug, it's ground beef. So it's gonna have some fat in it, okay? I have bought me a meatloaf pan, and this is available on our website to, to buy. And it has sl slots down in the bottom of it. And you can actually pick it up and kind of bend it so that it will get a little deeper than that if you want it to be. Because once the weight sits down on there. But um, it's a nonstick Chicago metallic pan. And we'll be putting our meatloaf down on top of that and it, all the grass will run to the bottom, which is kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to start out with the ground beef, and we're going to put in a container of Lipton. Well, this is an off-brand, but it's an onion soup mix, okay? And now we're going to use an egg, and I'm going to rinse my hands off right quick before I touch the uh, spices. We're going to put in a half teaspoon of pepper and we're going to put in a whole teaspoon of salt and that's a heaping one. And remember the Lipton onion, I have some salt in it as well. We're going to use some Worcestershire, Worc Worcestershire. Some of y'all get on to me for the way I say that. How are you supposed to say it, Chris? I don't know. Worc Worcester. Worcester. No, it's nothing at all like to say it the way you say it. Oh, anyway, we're going to get out some Worcestershire sauce. And we're going to put in a couple of shakes. Five or six, actually, for that much ground beef. We're going to put in a little bit of this uh, Badea roasted garlic powder. So I'll shake in about, I'd say, half a teaspoon. So I'm also going to put um, crackers in it. We mean Chris first met. Um, he told me real quick like he didn't like the oatmeal in his meatloaf because now if you use oatmeal most of the time it's instant quick oatmeal even if you get it in a large container and it, it makes it kind of have a slimy taste and he doesn't like that. Let's just say about a half sleeve of crackers. How's that? These are Zesta. Daddy always liked Zesta. Just saltines. Okay. I think I'm going to use two eggs since I got that many crackers. And the only way you can mix up a meatloaf and do a good job is with your hands. And if y'all want to take the time and try to do it with something else, you can go ahead. But I'm just going to tell you, nothing works better than hands for a meatloaf. And a lot of different things, really. So you're going to want to really mix this in there good. You can't do that with a spoon, not with these type of ingredients. Um, you would be here so much longer trying to get everything in there and dispersed evenly. Um, it smells so good already. <laughs> it's not even, it's raw meat and it smells so good. Another meatloaf that's really, really good we'll make some time for y'all is a Mexican meatloaf. It's really good too. All right, so we're just going to take this meatloaf. Just want to make sure I get it mixed up really good. And I don't really want to put this out on my cutting board because it's more for veggies. So I'm going to try to just form it in the in the um, bowl as much as I can. And if you want to get out a plate or something to put it on and form it on it, you can. But this should work fine. Make sure you take your rings off before you make a meatloaf, okay? Now we're going to put it down in here. And now I'm going to 
make it more the size of the pan. And it did make that fall down in there, but it is going to hold it up. We're gonna get this in the oven and bake it. We're gonna bake it. I like to bake my meatloaf on like 375 because I like for it to get nice and brown on the outside. So I'm gonna bake this at 375 and it's gonna bake 45 minutes minimum. Okay, so we're gonna put this in there. After the 45 minutes, I'm gonna take it out, put a topping on it. Let's mix up a topping, y'all. We got, we got three quarters cup of ketchup. You can't have meatloaf without ketchup on top of it. Not here, anyway. So I'm gonna use some brown sugar and put in here, I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of brown sugar. Whoops. So it's a tablespoon per quarter cup of ketchup. That way you can reduce it or make it bigger if you want to. And this is a half teaspoon of onion powder. So it's not got salt in it, y'all. Remember that. Onion powder. Just a half teaspoon. Just enough to give it just a little bit of a good flavor. Ketchup's already got spices in it. Um, so putting that half teaspoon of onion powder and that sugar in there will just make it glaze and be really, really good. That's it, y'all. Yummy. Okay, y'all, take a look at the way this pan works. You can see uh, that the oil's in the bottom instead of it sitting in the oil. And this was the cheaper ground beef. I'm gonna lift it up and kinda let you take a look underneath it. And look, your meatloaf is nice and formed. Okay, so I am going to put the topping on it. That's a really cool thing. I, th I think that was the neatest pan. And um, I found that when I was looking for cookware to go on my website and I loved it so much I had to get me one. <laughs> I thought that is the coolest thing ever. But this should be plenty of topping for our meatloaf. It's really too much, but we'll use it anyway. So if you're if you had a 13 by 9, this would probably be enough for even a 13 by 9. It's really so much I can't even put it all on here. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that cook about five to 10 minutes, probably 10 minutes. Let's get it out. Oh yeah. Looking good, sounding good. I'm about to make a cake. Here's our stuff. Can't have meatloaf without cream potatoes and green beans. You just can't. That's part of the rules. So you'll be able to pick this up and it should slide right off because it's non-stick. So we're gonna check this out and just see if we can get it to work. I'm just gonna kinda shake it off. And you can see it's easy to clean up because it's non-stick. The oil's down in the bottom. All right, let's serve it up. It looks real pretty slid right off to your serving plate. This would be nice to cook for um, company, I think. So now I'm going to get that off, right? Slide it down a little bit. I didn't do the greatest job transferring that piece, so we're going to try again. This one's better. Let's Stand up for a second. Okay, Tammy has got me tasting it since I'm so picky about meatloaf. I like it because there's no oats. It's very meaty. It has a really beef flavor. And then the ketchup on top of that brown sugar and stuff is really good. It's very good, very tasty. And it's gonna make great sandwiches too. Yes, it is. This is how my mama makes me love. My mama. I'm gonna eat all that. 
You like it? I don't think it's too salty. Chris loves it, y'all. He loves it. He said he might eat it all. Thanks for watching Cotter Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Yummy yum.